So, today we meet with you uh, for God's word and mission. The Lord's word said, proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Proclaim the jubilee year. Proclaim the year of mercy. Of course, it came with the new covenant. And the cry is from James 2.13 that mercy triumphs over judgment. This is the New Testament. So any time that we come to a place where wages of sin is death, we say, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus, Romans 6.23. And then we say, in this case, just this is, is the normal, but we are claiming that the propitiation of the blood of Jesus Christ to work for mercy. So we, we, when we are saying mercy triumphs over judgment and justice, we know this is a this is a situation where judgment is due. But we take the plea that mercy in our thoughts, mercy in our words, mercy in our deeds. Lord, we are negotiating, we are petitioning, we are working all we can to stop the sins of a nation visiting this nation. Lord, we are doing all we can to stop the sins of one race visiting that race. And we are, we are standing in the gap. So that is, when we say mercy triumphs over ju judgment, this is not a cliche. Uh, this is not a slogan. This is how we live, bearing in our life, bearing in our words and thoughts all the time, bearing in our intercessions and actions and mediations and negotiations. Uh, I, that, that we plead mercy will come because we are moving, moving in mercy. We are, so every word that we proclaim, read and proclaim over the situation with thanksgiving, we are expecting a turnaround for the best this hour. That is why Luke 18 says, when the elect, when the chosen cry day and night, we don't give up. And our cry is, Lord, where judgment is due, let mercy come. Let the power of the gospel work in this situation, in my nation, in my family. So when we are personally insult in insulted, when we are personally put down, unjustly treated, we bless them that curse us, we good to them that uh, hate us, we uh, do kindness to those who persecute us. That's, that's, that's what it means. Make mercy triumph over justice. A lot of work, but we have taken the stance in racial conflict, any other conflict, any other gap, where injustice prevails. We don't protest against injustice. We go the mercy way. Accept reconciliation so that mercy triumphs over justice. This is not a slogan. This is not a, uh, there is not a bannering, placarding. No, this is how we live. This is how we think. Day and night, mercy triumphs over just, uh, justice. We know judgment is due. It's almost there. But we stand on the, in, in that gap, like Casabianca on the burning deck. And we turn it for mercy, turn it for mercy. Uh, so we know in Psalm 103, the Lord says, uh, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Praise His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Forget not all His benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities and heals all your diseases. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy and redeems your life from ruin, re, uh, destruction and rundown. So we pray this for a race. We pray this for a relative. We pray this for a workmate. We pray this for a leader of a nation. Whoever it is, we our prayers expect God's best. And we make God's best possible because we have given up judgment and we are taking up redemption. It is impossible to take both in the in same mouth. Impossible. Uh, so those who are placarding, protesting will miss mercy. And in turn they will miss mercy in their personal life because we get what we give, what we sow, we reap. So this is a passionate plea. This is a short uh, word today I am sharing. It's late in the day. Uh, that we may say, Lord, in personal situations where I'm insulted, I'm put down, I'm persecuted because I'm a Christian, I expect a change for the good, mercy, triumphing over judgment. Thank you for taking up mercy. It's the acceptable mercy year of the Lord, almost coming to end. We can see that in the world. Mercy is receding, grace is departing, people are getting into terrible profligacy. But we still cry, mercy, while well, time is still available. God is, uh, God will make mercy to triumph. God bless you.